everyone and welcome to my monthly favourites for the month of November 2014. Okay, first I'm going to get started with my beauty favourites. Now, this one is an old favourite rediscovered very recently. It's by Longcom. It's a little eye cream. It's called Longcom Genific U Youth Activating Eye Cream. Now, I got this in a little pot a couple of years ago in the Longcom Beauty Box and I was obsessed with it. It's the first time I've ever used up a pot of like face cream and I used it in like a couple of months and I was obsessively looking for it and they sold me a thing they told me it was it at Longcom. I spent like a hundred bucks on it. It wasn't it. It was still good, it just wasn't it. And yesterday I was at the Longcom looking and I saw that they had it in the new beauty box, but I didn't want the stuff in the beauty box. So um, I was just like out of interest to the lady, oh, you don't happen to sell that um, in a full size, do you? And she's like, yeah, of course we sell it. Um, here it is, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh my God, I love that stuff. It's so good for hay fever, sore eyes. Oh, it's just wonderful. I love it. And um, it was the last one they had and my mommy very kindly bought it for me. And it costs $85, which is expensive, but I think it really is worth it. The next thing is something I have had quite a while and only really discovered now. It's a beauty blender. And I have no idea how much this costs because I took it up to the counter at Priceline and I was like, I'd like to buy this, thanks. And the guy serving me winked at me and said, you can have that for free. And I was like, no, 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 pay for it. And he was like, no, have it for free. And I was like, okay. And then he just like put it through and then didn't ask me for money, which is kind of weird. And then I just left and I have no idea how much it costs. But because summer's coming up, it's really good because you get like a flawless airbrushed foundation look with it. Um, you just wet it and then wring out of the water so it's moist. And then just like put your foundation on and I've been kind of steering away from the cakey look that I normally rock because I just um, don't want to be too cakey and sweaty for summer. It's really good. So the last beauty products I have for my favourites are all lip products and the first one is an old favourite of mine. I'm on to my second tube of it. It is the Dior Lip Addict Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm and it, it just basically pops out. It's got this little pink kind of slightly opaque but clear tube and then you just and you just go like and it all screws up and it reacts with the temperature and the pH of your lips and does a different color for everyone who wears it. Um, and I've actually used up one of them first time I've basically ever used up a lip product. So I'm, I'm really happy with it. It's, I think it's like 65 or $70, which is total ridiculousness for a lip balm. But I think it has really saved my lips. I get very chapped, capped. Are they chapped or capped? I've just been informed that no one says capped and I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, um, the next thing is... Um, big, it's a big call, but I'm going to say this is my favourite lipstick of all time. And it's by Lime Crime. It's called Coquette. And it is the perfect nude. The perfect nude. I'm wearing it right now. No lip liner, no primer, no setting powder, nothing. Just straight from the tube. You can see it's a bit dirty because it's pretty well worn and my cap is like cracked because I it's always in my where is the crack gone yeah the cap is like cracked because it's always in my handbag and it's the special limited edition packaging which I have a theory was not as sturdy as the normal ones because I've never had a lime crying crack before but yeah I just use it so much it is perfect and it is the one lipstick where every day I wear it, I will always get a person asking what I'm wearing on my lips. 
And the next things are all from MAC and they're all Viva Glam products. Here I have the combo that Rihanna came out with in September. It's the Viva Glam Rihanna 2 um, and all the proceeds from this, well all the profits, go towards um, the MAC AIDS Fund which is helping to educate and eradicate AIDS um, in places where they have it a lot. Um, and this is a really bold colour and I really applaud MAC for not just going for like a simple red or brown like they usually do for Viva Glam. It is basically a brown based gunmetal um, silver and it looks so gorgeous on your lips. I'll insert a photo of me wearing it. And they also came out with this gorgeous lip gloss and it's the first time I've bought both the lip gloss and the lipstick um, of Aviva Glam. But I'm just so impressed with this. It's like a mauvey, purpley grey colour. Um, it looks gorgeous topping it off. Um, and it looks gorgeous by itself. The next thing is my MAC Keepsakes Viva Glamorous palette. Which I've basically showed you guys before. But it's just a lip palette with all the um, permanent... Viva Glam shades of lipstick in, which is, there are six of them, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to talk about hair products. Um, first up is one I have repurchased, I'm going to say almost ten times. It is the Fudge Clean Blonde Violet Toning Shampoo. And when you squirt it out, it basically comes out this colour. And you just, this is basically what I use to get this colour. It is my hair dye. So I just put this, like half a bottle of this on my hair, and it comes out this kind of silver, purple, lilac colour, which is really useful because I don't have to be doing all that mixing shit and stuff. This is an unopened one. I got it with a set that I will be showing in my haul video. I also love the L'Oreal Palace Ever Sleek Precious Oil Treatment. Now, this is basically the same as Moroccan Argan Oil, except for $15, you get the same kind of thing you would get for $50. I think it does have a bit smaller um, amount in it, but it's wonderful, no less. Uh, then also, um, my favourite hairbrush of all time, there's like all hair coming out of it you now, um, is the Tang by Tangle Teaser. And, um, let me give you some reference to how small it is. Um, this is a lipstick by MAC. So, like, look how small it is. It's basically the length of a lipstick. Um, it's tiny, but it is. it packs a punch. A bit like me. Um, it has a little cap to stop it scratching things in your handbag. And you just brush your hair with it. And it is amazing. Perfect for travel and perfect for just around home. And also, in my hair, having pastel hair makes you not want to wash it much because, one, it is dry from all the bleach, and two, it fades faster. This is the Peter Alexander Collection um, shower cap that I have had quite a long time. It's the Batman one. It's limited edition, but I'm pretty sure they're always having different like character ones popping in and out of the shop. So, um, this is what it looks like. It is so badass. It is like just a shower cap. I'll put it on. Hello, ladies. Um, it just has the Batman logo and then like one Robin here and like lots of Batmans and here's another Robin. But yeah, it's just no water gets in from it. It's like water resistant, like it's like having a jacket on your head um, that's waterproof. You, nothing gets in and you can have a shower and not be a dirty bitch and still have non-faded hair. Okay, the next thing I'm talking about is um, a random kind of thing. It is Bepanthin. My love for Bepanthin has been replenished rekindled my fire and love for the panther. 
it has I had an infected tattoo recently and now using this it is looking so much better there's only one kind of tiny patch where it still looks a bit dodgy and I'm just I love this and it feels really good so that's what I'm going to be using to heal my tattoos now and another thing is my glasses I've found I've rekindled my love for them I do not wear glasses as a fashion statement I wear them because I should need them to see but sometimes I'm just lazy and can't be bothered putting them on so this is what they look like they're pretty comfy they help me to see and they have like silver sides these like four dots here and I think they make me look cute but most importantly I can see with them on they're by Chloe um, which is I've been told quite an expensive designer brand but um, because in Australia we have such good healthcare, um, you get a fairly large rebate on them from having private um, health insurance, which most people in Australia do have. And um, another hair slash, is, it's kind of like half hair, half fashion thing, um, is these awesome scrunchies. I've got one in my hair here. It's like a velvet kind of situation and then there's this one which is chambray this is chambray and this is black velvet and they're by american apparel i think they were like 12 or 13 dollars each i got them when i was on the mainland because obviously you can't buy that down in tassie um and they are the perfect like length because with my hair hair bands that are meant to go around three times will like don't it won't go around a third time but like two times is too loose and three is too tight I know hashtag first world problems but um this goes around so these are just the perfect length for my hair um now going into the more clothes kind of things since it is November and tomorrow is December summertime woo um here is a bikini bottom I've been loving it's like high-waisted it's by City Chic it basically just like goes on like eh, like this I don't know you can probably imagine it I'll insert a picture of me wearing it it's very cute they are a wonderful company they go from Australian size 14 to Australian size 24 if I'm not mistaken great for all the plus size girls out there. I'm pretty sure I bought them in size 20 So they could be quite Like loose and quite high-waisted if I'd wanted them a bit tighter I would have got like a 16 or 18 <sighs> Two um, summer kind of themed undergarments. I have been enjoying are this bandeau um I'm pretty sure it's only in a size 12. It's in a size large, which I think is still 12, a 12 or a 14. And it's from um, Factory. And you just like put it over the girls. And it's really comfy. Um, no wires or straps or annoying things like that. And you can just wear it if you have like one of those low cut singlet situations. Um, you'll just see this instead of an ugly bra you'll see this cute thing and that's by factory which i think is an australian brand um, and shop and for people that wonder where else you could buy them you can get them from bonds here's another one just goes like like this and it's pretty cute tropical print very nice very nice another product from factory i've been loving even though it's almost summer I'm still really enjoying my beanies, but I get a feeling I will not be enjoying them when I go to Bali, um, <laughs> since Hobart is still cold. It's It's been like on and off raining today and tomorrow is summer, which is kind of sad, but yeah, this beanie, I wear it a lot. It's really comfy. It's really got nice fabric. It feels like wool, but I'm pretty sure it would be an acrylic um, material 
So it's New York here. And you just wear it like this. I can't be bothered putting it on because my hair's in a bun. The last products in my favourites are going to be all food related. I love food food and if you're a normal you should love food too because food is amazing. Um, the first thing is something I got just from the supermarket. Actually, I'm pretty sure they're all from the supermarket. They're all just from Woolies or you can probably get them from Coles too. Um, this is in the lolly aisle. They're Starburst Sucks. You get a packet of eight for like a couple of bucks and it, um, they come in all different flavours. Here's like grape watermelon and fruit punch which is basically tropical and I love sucking on these while I get a tattoo because they help you to stop from like fainting and stuff I have fainted before when I got a tattoo and they really help to stop me fainting next is a kind of healthier food that I've managed to make tasty it is this which is by Sunrise and it's rice and chia and basically what you do is you like break it all up and then you tear up here put it in the microwave for 90 seconds and you have a rice dish that you can have with curry or whatever only it's healthy it's like brown rice I'm pretty sure it's brown rice and chia seeds um I've never enjoyed brown rice before but I have invented a recipe that is awesome. Um, I have, my boyfriend is lactose intolerant. I'm a vegetarian. Um, my dad can be quite picky with food sometimes. And my mum has trouble eating a lot of food. Um, so sometimes when cooking you need to be a bit imaginative. So I made up this recipe where I cook this and I cook about a cup and a half of peas and a cup and a half of corn. And then I mix that together and put about a tablespoon of um, nice olive oil, not just like cooking olive oil, and a teaspoon of stock powder, mix it all together, and it is delicious. And um, that recipe, it's gluten-free, it's lactose and dairy-free, um, and if you use vegetable stock, which I do, it's vegetarian and vegan. And then I just like put a piece of chicken for the rest of my family on it and then I'll have like meat substitute or roast vegetables on top. The next is a drink. Um, it is a juice and it is not, it's a like a pressed juice. It's not a, um, like just drained out, like they just like press them together. Um, and it is really tasty. Um, I'm pretty sure they didn't like even add sugar. It's just apple and elderflower berries just like mashed together made into a juice um, and it's delicious and what I do is I get like half and half this and soda water and it makes it be a bit more healthy less sweet and it makes it go further. The last product I've got is another drink item. Um, here it is. It is the Sippers um, Limited Edition Multi Pack of 10. Uh, your top five flavours. So basically, people voted on Facebook for the flavours they wanted to have made into Sipper straws. And if you're not aware of what a Sipper straw is, it basically comes like this you take the packaging off, and it's a straw with beads inside. Um, and you like suck from the normal looking straw with beads inside. Um, you drink milk through it and then it makes normal milk into flavoured milk and one straw that does a whole glass of milk only has less than half a teaspoon of sugar and these are great for kids and great for adults and um, my boyfriend can have them if he has lactose free milk and um, they're just really tasty and so much healthier than like milk you would buy like chocolate milk you would buy in the dairy aisle and the flavors you get in here smooth caramel hokey pokey honeycomb lamington dream hello marshmallow and fruit salad swirl and my favorite was fruit salad swirl it was delicious and it was actually voted on the back on facebook it was the least popular vote but i just found it delicious 
I didn't think I'd like that the best, but it was so good. Um, so I don't know if they're still in Woolworths shops now, but if they are, you should go and buy it. Actually, I think I got it from Coles. I got it from Coles, but they probably have it at Woolworths too. Um, or you can just buy the normal ones that are like chocolate, strawberry, banana, whatever. Okay, so that's my monthly favourites done. Thanks for watching. Good job if you got all the way through it. Um, I'd love to hear if you have any questions or if you guys try out these products and like them just as much as I do. Okay, love you guys. Bye.